Apart from the conventional light, medium, and heavy tanks in War Thunder, there is also an entire class of vehicles with special capabilities. Amphibians, or vehicles that can swim. With these vehicles, you can flank your enemies using waterways. For instance, go around the city area in Tunisia, or simply get to the other side of a river in Kursk. And if you're in no mood to take a lengthy trip round the lake in Poland, you can simply go straight through it. There are more than 10 vehicles of this class in the game, but not all of them are actually have amphibious capabilities in their implemented state. Let's explain. Roughly speaking, there are two types of amphibious vehicles in War Thunder. The vehicles that belong to the first group only have amphibious capabilities with special equipment or in a special configuration. For instance, do not rush into water after seeing that the Japanese car Mi has propellers at the back. This tank could only swim with special pontoon floats installed. Or take a look at the American M551 Sheridan. Its swimming capability was provided by a special flotation screen. The vehicles of the second type can swim as is. That's why, naturally, they retain these capabilities in War Thunder as well. These are the vehicles that we're going to discuss today. Let's take a look at them one at a time. The M163, the only SPAAG with swimming capabilities in the game. We're not really sure why the designing team behind the project wanted it to swim, but they probably had their reasons. We'll only say this. You probably didn't know that, but the Great Vulcan is also amphibious. That's it. The M113A1 is the Italian tank destroyer with ATGM capabilities. You'd be right to say that it looks a lot like the previous vehicle. It was built on the same track chassis as the M163 after all. Basically, it's your proverbial glass cannon with an ATGM. Your gunner is not protected at all, which means that he or she can be taken out by any stray bullet or an artillery strike. You'll have to be very careful to make full use of your best feature, the excellent tow ATGM. The AMX-10 is a high-rank French wheeled armored vehicle with a twist. Other wheeled vehicles can't turn on the spot. The AMX-10 totally can. It's skid steered. This will come as a surprise to many of your opponents. What is nice is that the vehicle is still as highly mobile as its other wheeled brethren. The American LVT-A1 reserve tank. A real giant compared to other amphibious vehicles that makes it a very good target. On the other hand, the LVT can prove to be tougher than most thanks to its roomy fighting compartment. It's not an easy task to eliminate all of its six crew members there. The tank is also equipped with a very precise 37mm gun and a single plane stabilizer to boot. That makes it a very fearsome opponent at BR 1.0. The T-114, that's yet another American vehicle on the list, this time a tank destroyer. The T-114 is armed with a recoilless 106mm rifle and a three-round magazine, taking into account the fact that this SPG can destroy any opponent at its rank with a single good hit. Three rounds is more than enough to deal with anyone, and if you're good at landing your shots, you can take several targets out in mere seconds. At the same time, its excellent mobility allows you to occupy key positions at the very start of the match. The PT-76B and the Object 906 are both light tanks from the Soviet tech tree. As many other vehicles of their class, they have great mobility. There is hardly any armor to speak of, but you get an excellent two-plane gun stabilizer that allows you to always shoot first as you don't have to wait till your vehicle comes to a full halt. Furthermore, 
The Object 906 comes with an autoloader which provides it with an insane fire rate. One round every 4.3 seconds. Then there is the Soviet BMP. There are two variants of this IFV in the game. The first is equipped with a 73mm Grom smoothbore cannon. The second is armed with a 30mm automatic cannon, which can be used to hunt both ground vehicles and helicopters. If that's not good enough for you, you can also outfit either of the BMPs with a second-generation Concours ATGM system. Very handy when facing the toughest of opponents. Well, that's it for today, but we're pretty sure that this list will only get bigger as the time goes on. Have you used any of these vehicles? What are your favorite ones? Share your experiences in the comments below.